Betty is a famous artist and blogger with more than 1 million subscribers. She has recently hired an agent to sell her works. The agent created an online shop with Betty's exclusive paintings. One day, Betty woke up and saw that most of her followers recently unsubscribed. Can you guess what happened? Take a look at the items in Betty's shop. Van Gogh painted the starry night, not Betty. The agent tried to sell fake art through her shop. The next day, Betty visited her favorite cafe. She made an order and went to the ladies' room to wash her hands. She found this beautiful ancient necklace. Three people approached her to claim the jewelry. Helen said, This piece belonged to my grandmother. Emeralds fit our green eyes perfectly. Give it back. Fiona said, my necklace used to have a weak lock. It must have been broken when I was combing my hair. Julia said, Hey, it's mine. I lost this necklace in the ladies' room. Who should Betty give the necklace to? Helen mentioned emeralds, but the stones are red, not green. Julia was so sure that she'd lost the necklace in the toilet, so why wouldn't she go pick it up herself? Fiona was the only one who knew about the weak chain lock, so she's the real owner. Betty returned to her table. She noticed that someone had taken a bite out of her bagel. Betty was shocked and questioned other customers. Derek said, Lady, I'm a billionaire. I don't need to steal other people's food. Zach said, I'm allergic to gluten. I don't eat any pastries. Sheila said, I saw a weird hungry guy running around the cafe and asking for money. He must have bitten your bagel. Who's lying? Zach, if he doesn't eat any pastries, why did he order pancakes? Fiona wanted to thank Betty for the necklace, so she bought her lunch. The women sat down together and began to talk. Betty asked Fiona about her job. Instead of answering, Fiona showed her family tree. Can you help Betty figure this out? Fiona is a witch, her brother is a policeman, their dad is a doctor, and their mother is a football player. Betty got very excited. She begged Fiona to teach her magic crafts. But Fiona hesitated. She wanted to test her potential student and offered Betty to solve this equation first. Can you help her nail this task? Many people fail to solve this equation because they don't pay attention to details. In this puzzle, Every emoji, including the witch, wand, and the broom, symbolize different values. Before calculating the equation, let's find out the value of single things. First, calculate the value of one witch. It's 15. Now let's figure out the value of one wand. As you can see, it equals 7. And now, let's do the same thing to the brooms. This task is tricky because there are four brooms in this equation. So, if 4 brooms are worth 12, then 1 broom will cost 3. Now let's take a look at the final line. The witch doesn't carry around any broom or wand. Therefore, the value of an empty-handed witch is 5. And now, we're ready to solve the equation. And the correct answer is 73. Great job! Betty gave the right answer, and Fiona took her home. There's a beautiful garden maze on Fiona's land. She teleported Betty to the center of the maze and gave her this map. Betty must find a black cat. Otherwise, she's gonna stay in this trap forever. Can you help Betty out? Here's the way. Betty wanted to run back to the castle as soon as possible. Suddenly, a creepy zombie started chasing her. It looked hungry. Betty was running away and noticed three paths. The first path was covered by poisonous acid. The second path by bugs and maggots. 
and the third path by thorn bushes. Which way should Betty choose? <coughs> Betty should choose the second path. Bugs and maggots are gross, but they're harmless. Fiona asked Betty to serve dinner for a witch party in her castle. Can you count how many witches have arrived at this event? There are 13 witches in this picture. This one is not a witch, it's a garden scarecrow. Betty needed to go to the store to buy some ingredients for dinner. She began to write them down. Milk, lemon juice, eggs, butter, oranges, baking soda, cashews, and vinegar. What was Betty making? Have you guessed? Betty was making a shopping list. Betty served the witches the first meal. Can you guess what exactly? The correct answer is onion rings. Here's a second serving. Can you guess it? It's blueberry. What about this dish? What do you say? It's popcorn. Here's the next one. Did you get it right? It's a strawberry milkshake. Fiona asked Betty to bring dried flowers to cook a love potion. Fiona stores all ingredients in her warehouse, but as soon as Betty entered the warehouse, the door locked behind her back. Betty searched this area and found some old furniture and an antique mirror. Suddenly, she noticed three doors, but there was a dangerous monster behind each door. The first monster can turn any living being into stone. The second one is very angry and strong. And the third monster has venomous teeth. Can you help Betty choose the right door? <coughs> Betty should open the first door and show the mirror to the monster so that it would turn into stone. Then she can escape through the first door. Betty took her phone and ran into the forest. It was pretty dark and scary. Betty stepped on a wasp nest. Wasps were everywhere. What should Betty do? Wave her arms to scare the wasps? Run away as fast as she can? Or walk away slowly? What do you think? The safest choice is to walk slowly. Waving hands and running is too dangerous. The wasps will get angry and sting her. Betty has returned to the party, but when she saw the crowd of witches by the fire, she got scared and ran away. Why? This lady by the fire is a ghost. See, she doesn't have any feet and levitates. Betty decided to hide in the castle. She wanted to call the police, but she couldn't find her phone. Betty questioned three witches. Georgina said, Who dare you? I use telepathy. Phones and gadgets are for losers. Lillian said, I was outdoor singing with other witches. I didn't see or hear anything weird. And Nina said, I don't need to steal, honey. I can manifest any amount of money anytime. Who's lying? Georgina, take a look at her ears. She's wearing earphones, but she said she didn't use any gadgets. Fiona got very angry when she found out that Betty had interrogated her dearest friends. 
Betty apologized. Fiona said, Okay, I'll let you stay, but you must answer three questions. Here's the first one. I've been here for a million years, but I'm never more than a month old. What am I? Have you guessed it? The correct answer is the moon. Here's Fiona's second question. I build castles and I tear down mountains. I make some people blind, but I help others see. What am I? The correct answer is sand. And the third question is, I can be long or I can be short. I can be bought or I can be grown. I can be painted or I can be bare. I can be round or I can be square. What am I? And the answer is fingernails. The party was still on. Fiona went upstairs to change her dress. In five minutes, Betty heard a scream from Fiona's bedroom and found her unconscious on the floor. Betty asked one question to four suspects. What have you been doing for the last five minutes? Jenny was roasting marshmallows by the fire. Gemma said, I've spent the last 30 minutes in the pool. Sarah said, My frog Fluffy ran away to the garden. I've been looking everywhere. But unfortunately, I couldn't find it. And Nancy was flying on her broom around the house and filming the party on her phone. Who's lying? Sarah, her frog, is sitting in her pocket. Suddenly, someone turned the lights off. Betty woke up in jail. She found this clue on the floor. It said, explain this code and you'll be free. Can you help Betty? Here's the answer. Betty was running through Fiona's basement and noticed two more prisoners. She figured out that one of them was planning to escape. Can you guess who? The first prisoner. There's a hole behind the toilet that he started digging. Betty got out of Fiona's castle and ran away through the forest. Can you tell what's wrong with the forest? Look at the trees. They all cast shadows, but the big oak tree's shadow is in the wrong direction. 